What's happening, YouTube? It's your Shirley Rock Combo, a.k.a. The Professor on the Six. Here we are in the divisional round of the playoffs. Um, as my opponent right here. Looks like he's trying to do some type of um, end-around offense, but it's not, uh, you know, the traditional single-back bunch. So you have to stay tuned as, uh, figure out if, as the game goes on if I'm able to slow this down. And then he also has this little run um, off the edge as well. Uh, and then and then also the last play he does is where it's some type of play action to the left and I don't know See, that that play I, I don't think it's as, as good as the other as the other ones that he runs so he has the ball here first across the midfield um, you know moving the ball slowly uh, making him definitely work for it I'm trying to I'm definitely f figuring out his tendencies this first drive which is what you want to do got my opponent on into a third down got a sack made it fourth and 14 and he was able to, he had to punt the ball um, so anytime you can get uh, your opponent to not score a touchdown on the first drive is a definite success. However, when you follow it up with your first play on offense with a fumble from your quarterback, <laughs> never a good thing. So opponent's back on offense here. Um, nothing was open. He got a, got a nice little sack. Uh, took away all of his routes that he wanted, and then he had a nice little delayed blue route come out of the backfield. Um, to make it first and goal, and did a little fullback dive all the way down to the three-yard line. So starting in the second quarter, I've only had one play on offense, so um, <clears throat> he's definitely controlled the game, but I have made him work for it. And so now it's fourth and goal. That was a great goal line stand on my part, wherein he was barely, barely made that field goal. So he's up 3-0, but I'm finally on offense. I haven't really been on offense this whole entire game. So we're going to see what we can do. And we fumble once again, but luckily my, uh, my offensive line was able to recover it. And on 4th and 14, I haven't had the ball at all. I have no momentum on offense. Decided to go for it. He sent a nice little blitz from the left. Um, however, my little post route got open. He just dropped it, which is unfortunate. So I think I've had like four plays this whole first half. And as you can see, we're at the two-minute warning. Um, hits me with a nice little angle route by the running back <clears throat> to make a second goal from the four. Looking to get another goal line stand. Uh, so here we are at third and goal. It's a three. And he hits me with a nice a nice route. I'm not too sure exactly what play he hit me with, but uh, did a good job of scoring. So he's up 10-0. I haven't really had the ball at all. Haven't gotten in a rhythm. Um, it's been a strange first half. So I just need to make sure to go down and score. Um, establish the run a little bit. He's having some issues with this triple option, so I kind of uh, no huddle him. There's only 47 seconds left until halftime, so I decided to pick up the pace a little bit. Hit him with a nice little strike to the tight end out of the backfield. And um, now we have a 39, a 38 yard line. He has a, <clears throat> a blitz from the right side. He was able to sack me with, and on fourth and 17, <laughs> look at that play. So so lucky. Um, his guy, the defender, was in position. I just, I guess, it just went right through his hands. Not too sure what happened, but I'll take it to say the least. And I'm down 10 to three to start the second half. But luckily, I do get the ball. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm gonna try to be carrying over the momentum. And I fumble again, and this time it looks like, oh, so he didn't re he didn't return it all the way, but just terrible. This game has been so bad. I'm, I've th fumbled three times. Uh, I've lost two of them. I haven't had any momentum on offense or any rhythm. Um, on defense, I'm I'm making him work for it, but he's you know he's doing a pretty good job. He's definitely a good player. So I'm pretty upset at this point. I'm now 17-3, and the, I get to the playoffs, and I feel like I'm just I'm about to lose. So I I you know. Like a lot of people do that know how to face catch. I go to the face catch and try to make something happen. Luckily, <clears throat> I was able to catch it and run for the touchdown to make it 17-7. Tries to hit me with a cross around. Got a last little big hit. Uh, third and seven. Hits me in the flats for the first down. Those flats are killing me. And then he goes with the counter. Nothing there to make it like, what is it, second and 13. Play action pass, cross around. Boom, big hit, fumble. Suggs comes up with the fumble recovery, and we are back in business. Only down a touchdown. All I got to do is score. And I'm going to go up there for the face catch. No can do. So now I decided to run a regular offense. Um, <clears throat> make it third and in inches. Going to hit him up with the halfback sting. Move the chains. We're coming towards the end of the third quarter. Only down seven, which is uh, an accomplishment considering I fumbled the ball two to three times, and I've looked awful on offense. And once again, I cannot make make a first down. I'm in field goal range on fourth and 18. Decided to keep the pressure on my opponent, and uh, you know go f and just kick the the uh, the field goal because I think it'll be pretty tough for him to run the whole whole fourth quarter out um, if he got the ball. So <clears throat> beginning of the fourth, he's already at the 40 yard line. As you can see he's running the clock, and I don't blame him for doing that. And that was that quick pass. It's like that that end around PA end around type of quick pass by outside left receiver. 
he threw it a couple times early in the game, so I, I was starting to adjust to it, and he finally went back to it, and I was able to get the pick, uh, return the ball, um, and now I'm, you know, first and 10 at the 11-yard line, second and eight. Inside to hit him up with a nice little spec catch, touchdown, to go up 20-17 to 17, just like that. I do not know how I'm winning this game. There's no way in hell I should be winning this game, but I am. So now I just got to get another stop. And look at this. I'm going to be getting a pick six, baby, because I sent a screamer up the A-gap and forced him into a quick throw. I did not get the pick six. However, a couple plays later, I'm going to be able to score to take a two-score lead into the fourth quarter. Uh, this is what I would consider a pretty gutsy win, good win. Um, you know, I struggled all the first half, did play terrible, had no rhythm on offense, and was able to overcome all that and <clears throat> make some good adjustments on defense, send some nice blitzes, get a couple turnovers, and execute on offense finally. And right here, it's fourth and 19. I'm going to send, uh, send, send another screamer up the B-gap, and then... Um, and that's going to do it for more for my opponent. So hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're new, hit that subscribe button. I really do appreciate it. And we'll be seeing you on the sticks.